So we begin our meditation moving inwards into our innermost being and beginning to sense, to feel and bring our awareness to the light of spirit which enters through our breath and which descends down through our central column as we simply relax into the divine flow, moving ever more deeply inwards to the experience of the self within. So as the light descends from above through your crown and down through your central column, bring your focus, your light, into your foundation, the pelvic area, the area of your lower chakras and feel your presence, feel yourself within your foundation. As you rest in your foundation, we ask the Arcturians, Juniano, Hinioa, the Temple Masters, the Council of Elders, to please activate the Crystal Temple within our circle, within this room. And as you gently breathe and relax, letting go of all need to do, you gradually come into a sensitivity to the Arcturian temple energies, to the structures which form within this circle. And you see or sense or feel or simply visualize and simply rest in your foundation. Gradually the Arcturians begin to work to bring your four bodies in balance and alignment for you. The physical, mental, emotional and spiritual bodies being realigned. Your aura is being cleansed and cleared as lower vibrational energies dissolve away within the higher frequency of this crystal temple. So through your foundation, you feel your connection to the earth, to the earth plane, to life upon this planet, to your life here. For as we move ever higher in frequency, so it becomes increasingly important to be well connected to the earth and to be fully present within your earthly existence. Feel your presence now your I am presence within the physical body upon the earth 
filled with spiritual light. And move your focus down into the earth, into her core, as if a line of light moves downwards through your lower body, your lower chakras, into her core. It is her heart and soul at her core which connects with you and the awakening crystalline consciousness. So you feel her presence, her oneness through your heart and also through your body as the energy of Gaia permeates your aura and every cell of your body. For it is Gaia who gives life to your body the elements of the earth that form your body. The earth, the air and so on that supports physical life upon this plane. And through the elements and through the one spirit, all are connected. The plants, the animals, the rocks, the trees, the mountains and the lakes, the sky, So allow your heart to expand and open to the vastness of this earthly existence, to all life of which you are a part. Thought will never take you there, but through the sensation of your body and the flow of love through your heart. You can experience yourself as part of all life upon this earth. And as you allow yourselves to soften and relax, you simply flow into the oneness. As you become more aware of Gaia's embrace, you come to know that the life which flows through you is the same life which flows through Gaia. And the one energy of spirit moving through all things connects all things and as you allow your consciousness to expand upwards and outwards so you bring into your awareness so much more beyond your usual state of limitation and you can expand outwards and upwards as far as you wish to go 
for all lies within and the whole universe can be accessed from within. So we move both inwards and outwards. The more deeply inwards into the high heart we move, so the more expansion we have in our consciousness. So you move ever more deeply into the deepest recesses within. Breathing into your high heart and allowing the personality to begin to relax and let go. It is a relief for the body to be allowed to relax. To feel the peace of the emotional body settling down and the mind quiet in itself. For when we are deeply within our own being, there is no conflict. No judgment. And the deeper we go within, the more stillness we experience. That place within the high heart which is always still. So we invite our four Pleiadian friends to come to join us as they take the four empty chairs. And a fifth one. and they will bring their heart energy as they join us in the crystal temple. Assist in us. They particularly bring to us the energy of self-love. you allow their powerful heart energy which is unconditional love to be felt within your presence. Unconditional of course means non-judgment for as you free yourself from judgment particularly self-judgment, you are able to feel the peace within. So while they gift us with their heart energy, we ask the Temple Masters and the Arturians that are here with us to please raise our frequency. A gentle shimmering energy from below your feet gradually rises upwards through your aura, gently shimmering your energy field 
into a higher frequency of light. You deeply relax the physical body as your energy field accelerates into higher frequencies. And you have a stronger experience of the light within of yourself as a being of light existing within a physical vehicle and we spend a little time receiving the healing energies You find it is very peaceful and healing here within the Arcturian blue light. Give yourself the intention that you are ready to release and let go of the past which you have held on to and which has burdened you. And simply allow your Arcturian heinous to work with you in this healing process. Nothing that you need to do, simply allow and receive as you feel attachments drifting away. Nothing needs to remain except this now moment. As you come fully into the present and experience your I am presence. And here in the temple you can experience the multi-dimensionality of your I am presence as many levels of self are present with you. Allow the love to enter, for it is all around you. It flows from the hearts of the Pleiadians towards your heart. Will you open to receive it?
and we ask Jesus Ananda to bring his energy of grace So he prepares us to receive our soul, our higher self into the third dimensional vessel. But first from his etheric crystal energy in the pond holding his messianic light of harmony and balance we ask his crystal to rise and to flow towards this temple towards each one of us and as his energy enters the temple a connection is being made between the crystal temple here and his crystal in the pond and from the crystal temple on Arcturus his crystal energy is being amplified and a triangle of light is forming from the crystal temple on Arcturus to the crystal temple in this room to Sananda's etheric crystal in the pond and through the flow of energy of light through this triangle Sananda's messianic light is being amplified exponentially and this amplification of light is also taking place through you as you are the vessel to hold this light as we amplify the light for the world Relax into your heart and surrender to the divine flow through your crown, through your heart and accept 
Sananda's messianic light into your being. His energy of harmony and balance bring into you a balance within of the divine masculine and divine feminine. Nothing for you to do, it is simply receive into your etheric body, into your DNA. As the messianic light <coughs> enters into every cell of your being, as your DNA is being upgraded your divinity becomes ever more tangible real as the divine flows through you you know that you are divine your fifth dimensional self which you know to be a higher aspect of you a part of your consciousness moves forward and brings part of her, his soul energy into your third dimensional self. Jesus Ananda activates a further opening of your heart and draws down the light of your soul into your heart, into your being, the light of soul, the light of your higher self, activating now throughout every cell. and your aura fills with ever increasing amounts of the light of your presence, the light of your soul, the light of your higher self. And you wish for the ego self to surrender, to shift, to allowing your higher self to take charge, to live in the bliss and the beauty of your fifth dimensional self.
and as you resonate to the frequency of bliss, your light body makes its presence known both within you and around you. Your light body is now integrating into your etheric body and the physical vessel. You cannot get it, you can only receive it by grace. And you may wish to affirm to yourself, I am the light for the world. And you feel the magnificence of the amplification of light brilliant white at the center moving out into gold from your heart center to the edges of your aura and you give your light as it flows outwards from you. And in order to draw more of the Christ energy into your ever-expanding being from within this crystal temple where all things are possible look through your third eye to your sun as the consciousness of your sun the heart and soul of your sun connects to you. Send your love back to the sun that a union may take place. And you receive the light of Christ from your son and you draw up the light of Gaia and she meets with her son through you within you. A magical union.
And from within this temple now, beyond the sun, the central sun, And as you look to the central sun through your third eye, receive the brilliant diamond white light which the central sun is sending out. And our Palladium friends, that we thank for being with us within this temple. Connect to the star Alcyone and draw the light of Alcyone into this temple. And the star connects to you through your heart. A glorious experience as the soul of our Sione sends its light into your heart. And you feel lifted and elevated above the small concerns of the ego's world into a far bigger picture. Now that your light body has been able to descend, you are here to hold the light for the world. Your connection to other beings of light, Pleiadians, Arcturians, Syrians and so on, the star Alcyone of the Pleiades, Arcturus, you begin to feel, to experience, to know your relationship with them, not as less than they are. For we are all equal. And yet, since we are the ones in a physical body, they are required to give us their energy, to support us, to raise us to awaken us, to heal all that still needs to be healed and to raise everyone into the fifth dimension 
bodies of light in the frequency of the Christ consciousness. And this is their greatest joy to give us their light, their love. Simply allow yourselves to receive all that is offered to you. Allowing the body to remain relaxed as amplifications of light and love are transmitted to you. messianic light to continue to flow through you, working within you throughout your day, throughout your nights, until Restoration, Resurrection, has become a permanent state of being. In the meantime, you return to this place within, whenever you can. You hold this frequency whenever you are able. And when the time is right, your ascension into the fifth dimension will take place. Until then, you draw down the fifth dimension into your third dimensional self, learning to bring heaven to earth and to anchor it into earth, living in two worlds at once. until it is time to leave the third dimension and return to the new earth in the fifth dimension.